Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are continuing our war against the Perk that we're currently fighting. Um, in this episode, uh, assuming we can make it two years, we will also be integrating the Klingons. They will then be at 100%, which is beautiful because we've been waiting for that for a while now. Afterwards, we will then start on either the Sheliak or the Tholians, uh, just kind of whoever shows up in the list. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order we get everyone as long as everyone joins us in the end. Um, yeah, recover resources. No. Yes, it's unfortunate that they formed a coalition. Because uh, it would, be, would have been nice to bring them both into our... Uh, into our federation, actually. So this is what we're waiting on. This is Refuge. They have uh, that many armies, 789 worth of power, of fighting power. We have uh, 10 times that coming to invade their planet. Um, they are, it looks like they are recruiting armies, so they are getting ready for an invasion. Um, but we'll just have to see how that goes. This is our invasion fleet. It will be there in, uh, yeah, under a year now. So yeah, that should be fun. Um, let's go like that. And like that. And like that. Yes, good. Good, good. So actually what I could probably redo, uh, probably do is um, redistribute these fleets. Oh, recent death of the noted leader. Oh, he was our Prime Minister, but he was 114, so that doesn't really surprise me. So we'll get a new... <laughs> age 220. Talk about old people running politics. Um, let's sell... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Um, let's put them in supplies for now. So thank you. Yes, I hope the Vidians appreciate me, because we will be giving them this, uh, I mean, they will have control of this territory once this war finishes. So I hope they like me. I hope they appreciate what I'm doing for them. Nope, we're going back into negative for the energy production. Don't really understand why, but I guess it's not really that important. 11th Fleet. Oh, you're all trying to merge with the Enterprise E. I see. Okay. So while we're waiting for all of this to kick off, um, I, yeah, the devs have announced a um, an update for January, um, and it comes with a lot of kind of nice fixes and things. Um, so once we finish this, um, not this episode, but this playthrough, I almost said the word episode. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> once we finish this playthrough, um, what we will be doing is starting a new playthrough, um, and we will be doing the Cardassians. I've never played the Cardassians before, so that will be a first both for me and for this channel. Um, but there is a nice... But with they are coming out with a January update, so by the time we start that, it should be on the updated version. The update includes a lot of very nice things. There is um, a new event. Uh, it's a Terran event, though, so we... Ooh. Um, we're losing it. Do we have... We have a lot of Latinum. Pretend to destroy it. Um... Pretend to destroy it, I don't know. All's well that ends well. Anyway, back to this this update that's going to be happening. Um, and I'm just going to keep clicking here. So there's going to be um, a Terran, Terran Vengeance event. So this is what... It, the prompt says, What happens when you let Terran scientists loose with red matter and temporal anomalies? 
So it'd be interesting to see how that's implemented and if that will come into the Prime Universe as well, or whether that will be in the Mirror Universe playthrough. They're adding in a couple of species as well. The Packlids will be a new playable empire. Um, and the ship set will be based on Star Trek Lower Decks. Um, there will be the Gazerides and the Ephrosians, um, and will include unique leaders from Alpha and Beta Canon, and they will be joining as warp-capable civilizations. Um, the Klingon Great Houses mechanic is going to be reworked slightly so that they should be more helpful during wars. Um, there's a lot of Borg content as well. Um, actually, well, I'll go through the other stuff first. Um, on the in the map here, the Gamma Virtus system is added, along with certain mysterious uh, silent species. So it'll be interesting to see who they add in there. Um, so there is some Borg-specific stuff. Um, there is a civil war. Um, so whenever they have a civil war, it will spawn a subcomplex for the rebels to use. Um, it, they won't actually steal any of the collective planets or unicomplexes anymore, which will be very nice because that was always annoying and difficult, actually, as well. Um, yeah, the first time a planet is now targeted, uh, sorry, an empire is targeted for invasion by the Borg, they will have the option to investigate something mysterious at their borders. Uh, the prompt says uh, this leads to an early confrontation that, while disastrous, could lead to an advantage is, uh, against the cube later on. Um, Borg XP sharing is back now between uh, leaders, but it's behind one of the traditions in the Perfection Tree. Um, there are lots of new ships also being added. The Jaeger class refit, um, that's the Jaeger was the kind of the one that looked like the, the primary hull of the Intrepid class, like Star Trek Voyager, with the weird kind of nacelles on the, on the back. Uh, kind of looked like, a, I don't know, it reminded me of kind of a fighter. Um, style of ship. Um, the Krenip are getting, uh, sorry, the Krenim are getting frigates, uh, cruisers, battleships, and the time ship um, that we see in Star Trek Voyager. Um, there will be some new construction ships added from the later TNG era. Uh, there will be unique ships for the Sele and the Antikins as well. So um, those are currently in our game. These are the ones down here. If I can go down there. These two here, the Antikins and the Selly, will now be getting their own ships. Um, the Klingon and Romulan Empires, um, they will have a new, a couple new Star Trek Picard era ships as well. Um, there, it looks like the devs are going to be, yeah, bringing in things from the Picard era um, over probably the next several updates. There's also now the Inquiry class, Heavy Cruiser, the Sentry and Odyssey classes, based on the USS Verity from Star Trek Picard. And those have been added as late gain options for the um, United Federation of Planets, also the USS Enter uh, Enterprise F and the, uh, the USS Zhang He have been added to, the, to Utopia Panitia as buildable ships. Should be nice. The um, Klingon D7 refit from Discovery will be added as well as an optional refit to the classic D7. Um, the USS Vengeance, um, if you make an appearance, if you start to mess with the fabric of the universe, so it will be see what will happen there. And then the um, Cardassian late game experimental cruiser, the Obsidian class will be added. So we might actually see that one in our playthrough. There are a lot of um, fixes as well to different things. Uh, let's go to battle stations. Oh, it's an outrage. They died. Okay, well, it happens on occasion. Nothing to worry about, we didn't actually need that anyway. Um, so, one of the things that have been uh, changed is the Dominion mechanic. So, um, the Dominion can integrate their, uh, for example, their member worlds again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else? Um, there's just oh some missing flagship flags and some missing portraits and uh, some event crashes have been fixed. Um, the Borg, yeah, the Borg are kind of a big part of this update. So we've already mentioned how um, kind of some of the fixes with um, the 
other empires and that new event where you can say, look, oh, look, the cube is coming. Let's do something about that. There are also several uh, um, fixes. So the Borg can no longer adapt against their own rebels. Um, for example, Unimatrix Zero, when that fires, they won't be able to adapt to themselves. Um, <clears throat> oh, we're about to we're about to go into the Herc territory and take it over. Um, also, the probability of the Civil War has also been updated, um, so it's much easier to recover now from these Civil Wars. Um, but that also means that reducing or the, reducing the chances of stopping a Civil War from starting is also greatly reduced. Um, so you, you used to just be able to kind of throw resources at it and it was finished. Now that's no longer the case. You're going to have to fight most of the time. Um, they still do not recommend switching to the the rebels. So if you're out of the Unimatrix Zero or um, the Cooperative, uh, they still recommend you don't switch there. There are there's still problems with long term gameplay for those factions that spawn. Um, but they're hoping to fix that later on. Um, yeah, there's also now um, their invasion chains. We saw an invasion chain once in this playthrough where they tried to go after the um, the Husnok down here. Um, it was destroyed, though, um, so that didn't really... We didn't see much of that. No, we didn't see much kind of going on down here. Um, the timing on that has been expanded, so it takes a lot longer between the initial events of, oh, we're losing contact with some of our colonies, to, oh, look, there's an assimilation cube. Um, this assimilation cube is now um, much harder to fight, uh, especially if you're a powerful empire. Um, and it's also going to be harder the second time you face it. Um, so yeah, that can be very, very difficult. However, it doesn't really adapt. The, these assimilation cubes don't adapt uh, unless under certain conditions. I think you need to have... Um, I don't know if it will be just any... Um, well, uh, not as you need it, but I don't know if it will just be any leader um, of that kind of quote-unquote fleet. But if they have taken one of your leaders, for example, like Lacutus, then, then maybe with Lacutus they can adapt. Um, also, once you've lost your homeworld to the Borg invasion, so with that invasion event, then you won't be targeted by this invasion event again, event ever again. So you can only lose your homeworld once, which makes sense. There are also several um, fixes as well. Um, yeah, so there is also going to be. It looks like I'm just reading it here from the from the website. Oop. Um, and it was saying that the Borg numbering system is now going to happen once you actually once you actually meet them in the game. So when they meet the first one, it will be they'll give assign them an assimilation number, and so on and so forth. It looks like. Um, yes, yeah, so let's switch to this view while I'm still talking about this stuff. Um, so what else? Um, they're also removing some of the pop-ups. Um, so, for example, oh, this is wonderful. Removing the resource gain and ship sabotage results um, from sh and ship self-destructing as well. So when we are fighting the Borg, um, we don't actually have to um, destroy. I mean, we don't have to get rid of all those pop-ups. And the Borg disassembly option, so when they assimilate a ship, um, is going to increase in value. So ship assimilation now gives influence on disassembly instead of conversion. Um, sh ship assembly uh, assimilation can now build spheres. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, oh, something that was kind of a big um, yeah cheat for the Borg, I guess you could say, is that any ships they assimilated didn't count to their naval capacity. That's now also being changed. Um, yeah. Um, they're also fixed a problem with the anti-tech analysis edict, doing the opposite of what it should have. Um, oh, temporary fix for pop-up spam when conquering a Borg unimatrix, uh, unicomplex, this thing. They have created a fix for that. It should... Ah, oh, beautiful. Chef's kiss. Mwah. That will be wonderful, that in the next playthrough, um, depending on when it starts, 
we won't have to deal with this all the time because it is annoying to say the least. So how is this battle going? Oh, it's going well, slowly, but well. So yeah, if we look here, yeah, we're more than 10 times their strength, which is great. So there's still no word as to the date on when exactly this will be, um, yeah, when this uh, update will be launched, but it does say January. So hopefully by the end of the month, um, that's when that will happen. So fingers crossed, it should be an interesting update. So now let's take a closer look at what's happening here. So there are six armies left that do any kind of damage and we're still yeah, fighting, destroying them as well, which is beautiful. I love it when this happens, but it looks like we're going to be losing some armies, like that Klingon army. But it looks like this is basically finished. We have almost completely taken over everything there. What I'm going to do then is redeploy these fleets. So I think... Um, let's take you and go back up to Benea. The other one, let's go to Unimatrix 2 here. I think it will probably be a good idea if I keep a fleet here. In fact, it might be a good idea to keep a fleet here, just in case the Dominion get, get a little bit sassy. We don't want to have to deal with uh, the Dominion while we're trying to deal with anyone else. So let's go to Merrick with one of these fleets. Merrick, yes, thank you. And I think one, f one of these fleets will stay here as well. Yep, unfortunate. Let's take you and move you up here. And then these other ones, I will then redistribute around the Federation. I will send you one back there. And let's go... Oop, wrong system. Let's take um, you, for example, and move down here. Or maybe there. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, go in so I can actually click on the... Yes, this one. Let's move you um, here in case we have to fight from that side. And that leaves this last fleet. Let's have you go... here, I think. That should be good. We don't have any fleets up here, though. We have one fleet there and there still, which is good. That's where you should be. Uh, new research. Let's go for... Oh, food. That's a good idea. Speaking of food, let's... One, two... That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... Um, so, we have no military fleets. Maybe there's too many military fleets here. I don't. Maybe we don't need this one here. Let's actually have you move up here. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Let's do that. Losing Latinum in four months. Let's change that. Yes, just like that. Oh, you need... You don't need jobs. You just... Don't have anything that you absolutely want to do. 
new research, energy credits, and yeah, the invasion's over, we knew that. Let's bring our transport fleet a little bit out of harm's way. Oh, we do have two fleets here. Let's send one of you down here. And the other one, we do have somebody going over there. We have one there. We have somebody going there, there, have there, maybe a second fleet around here would be good. Just in case we do have to worry about this alliance, this coalition here, although I don't think, I think we'll be, I mean, I think we'll be okay. Although, ooh, we did take these fleets. You know what? I take that back. Actually, I could just move the Enterprise E over here. That's fine. We don't really need you in position anytime soon. And actually, you, let's move you to Malik. Yeah, that should be fine. You're still independent. Are you still fighting that war? You're still fighting that war. I guess that war, that war isn't going to finish anytime soon. Which, to be honest, is fine by me. It gives me time to actually uh, take things in stride. Um, because, for example, it's unlikely that I'm going to have to fight Ooh, against the Hakonian Order. You know what? Why not? Sure. We will take over anything that... Yeah, needs to be taken over. In fact, I'm sure that the... Vidians can do all of the fighting. Because look at the Hakonian Order. There's nothing that... can actually be used. Oh, and actually, don't the Hakonians have... Yeah, they do... I will actually take you and oh no well we can't do anything there yet okay so maybe I won't then actually we don't need the Aventine we could change your location we don't need you there let's move you over here as well to Karama Because again, I don't think we'll actually need that many ships. Oh, Tarai is probably going to get that one. Well, again, that's fine. I'm not looking to actually do much of anything in this war. Oh, nope, it was given to the Vidians because we have the greater range. That's nice. Yes. So yeah, I think things are going well. Looks like in the next episode we will also gain Ar Arbazan Prime as a as a sector as well, which is up here. Um, and we will also, it looks like, we'll lose the station that's there, but they will have a fully upgraded, completely super duper amazing uh, thing. I guess I could give them two more shipyards. Let's also go for a hydroponics bay and a resource silo. Because why not? They're worth it. Um, let's go for the leader lifespan increase. So thank you to all of this. Hostile fleet is present in the... Oh yeah, you're fine. It, it was present in this transwarp conduit, but... That battleship is done for. Boom, done. Perfect. I just hope that this war goes extremely quickly. What do you want? Unoccupied planets. Hmm. 
but you're not going to be able to occupy... Oh no, this is going to take away from my... from bringing the Klingons into the Federation, isn't it? Because what's going to happen is this war is going to go on forever because this war, the war that they're currently fighting, is going to go on for forever. Oh, I should have voted no. Oh well, a little bit late. Not much I can do about that now. We will have to wait and see what really happens. Glory to you. Glory to you and your. Oh well. <sighs> could it could be worse, I guess. Looks like. Oh, there's a battleship invader there. What does that look like? Oh, it's just the generic one. I guess the Vidian ships are also generic. We're losing Latinum in 10 months. Let's go like one, two, three, four. Now we're fine. Three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, like that. And recover more resources. You're going there. Oh, actually, you. Oh, you're merging with 10th Fleet and you're going there. Okay. Never mind then. Though actually, we could fight. This is owned by the Conian Order. Let's take this fleet and go to Wadi. Yeah, because it looks like... Oh, Harkonian Order has a Temerian. Well, oh, maybe they do need help. Oh, because it's a transport fleet. That's the problem. Ah, poor things. Well, you will soon have help. Lots of it, whether you want it or not. And I can then... Um... But you, let's go there and then there as well, and then back to the Tarogan. Yes, that should be good. Talaxians are up there. So, new research. Go there, and fleet command limit, and the shield hit points, and then go like that. I could buy some of you, and again. Yes, just like this. Great, so I'm actually happy with this episode. We saw a lot of, um, a lot of action, so we finished off with the the Metrons down here, they're now part of the Klingon Empire. Um, city... It doesn't seem to be much of anything... I mean, the Master Archive is nice, but everything else looks... pretty standard. Um, claimed by House Emrek. Review Klingon accession process and... Oh look, I can't bring them into there. So let's look at the member world's uh, things. Telepathic pain absorption and... Oh, let's go for telepathic pain absorption. Not really sure what that is, but could be... Could look very nice. Um, might help us, for example, with our... Armies or something? I'm not... Really sure. Ah. We have... Some things going up here. That, I don't need to worry about that. 1,000, 2,000. Let's go... Let's go over there. And then go over there. We'll focus on taking out those fleets. That's a fleet of 3,000, but I think we should probably focus on...
At the same time, I'm also sure we'll be fine. Yes. Okay, well, under attack. I think I am going to... Uh, oh, look, and we're now Spaceboard taking that, under attack. those two. Oh, there's a hostile fleet here. This fleet, you're going to go up there. Oh, Paros is now no longer controlled by anyone. How long would it take for you to move there? A while? Add Leonis, you're not doing anything. Why don't you go up here as well? I mean, we could claim the system. One way to take over things, I guess. And you're moving there. Okay, well, I'm going to put a cut in here because we have been half an hour. I hope you have enjoyed um, yeah, this episode so far. If so, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.